Whenever some people see others lining up for something, they join the queue, just in case they find what they're looking for. There is a shortage of cash in Zimbabwe, especially foreign currency. We are suffering, guys. We need to live like others. Other countries, they are living good, but we are suffering. So we really need money. At the ruling Zanu Pev party conference, the economy and what to do about it was high on the agenda. <laughs> President Emerson Mnangagwa tried to reassure Zimbabweans his party will turn things around. We value all the constructive contributions with regards to all the subsectors of the economy, and we promise to do our best. The prosperity we seek to achieve by 2030 must be for all our people in every corner of the country. Fuel and some medicines are in short supply in Zimbabwe. Food prices have more than tripled in recent weeks. People are growing impatient. Doctors at public hospitals are on strike for the second time this year. They want more money. Teachers are also threatening to do the same. They say they want to be paid in US dollars, not in local bond notes, which constantly lose their value. Despite reports of party infighting, all 10 provinces have endorsed Manangagwa as their presidential candidate for the 2023 elections, a sign not much will change politically. As for the economy, all people can do is wait and hope their leaders make good on promises to deliver. Otherwise, it's going to be more of the same. Harumutasa Al Jazeera, Esigodini, Zimbabwe.